Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scooter Boyo playing vanilla Minecraft Snapshot 19W36D of the upcoming release of 1.9 PC Edition. And in this video, I'm going to be showing how to expose an ocean monument in creative mode. Um, this is kind of by request. Um, I, I'm, uh, I, I did a lot of work with ocean monuments uh, when I was creating my series on how to conquer an ocean monument uh, uh, as an early game strategy. Uh, and of course, uh, that required uh, a lot of research with respect to ocean monuments. So I did do a lot of, uh, a lot of clearing out of them, a lot of work in creative mode. Uh, so uh, I did develop uh, sort of a technique for doing this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. It's probably a little bit fancier than uh, strictly necessary, but um, uh, the, it will have the desired effect. So let me start here. Uh, oh, first things first, um, I can't really see very well into the water. Uh, I am in creative mode, of course, I'm flying around, um, but I would like to be able to see a little bit better what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself a couple of effects. And uh, I want to give, my, uh, give myself two effects, night vision and water breathing. So uh, night vision, and I'm going to give myself that effect for a million seconds, um, <laughs> just so I don't have to worry about it wearing off. Uh, the next parameter to that is zero. Um, that's just the level. Uh, level zero corresponds to the lowest level. Night, night vision and water breathing don't really have levels, so zero is fine. And I'm going to go ahead and say true, and basically that means to hide the particles so I don't have uh, particles flying around me because I have those effects. Uh, so that's night vision, and um, I'm going to go ahead and give myself also uh, water breathing. Okay, that uh, doesn't really have any effect uh, up here above the water, but once you go below the water, it has a big effect. So uh, I'll give myself those two effects. Uh, now that I can see the ocean monument a little bit better, I'm going to go ahead and go right over uh, the center of the ocean monument. Uh, this ring over the center marks the exact center of the monument. Uh, and I want to find, uh, of the four blocks inside the ring here, I want to find the southeast corner. Uh, so I am facing north, uh, you can see by my uh, debug information, uh, which means the southeast corner is this one right here. Okay. I'm going to fly up a little bit higher, uh, making sure that my altitude is above 70, um, just so I can see a little bit better what I'm doing. Uh, and I'm going to start filling the area around the ocean monument. Uh, now, uh, the ocean monument, uh, it, clear, uh, filling the area around the ocean monument sort of depends upon how deep the ocean is around the ocean monument. Uh, you're pretty safe assuming the ocean depth doesn't go below 31 or, or maybe 30. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of start from that assumption. Uh, and I'm going to be using sand uh, to fill in everything around the ocean monument. And then if there are any breaks in the ocean floor or the ocean does go deeper than that, uh, I'll be able to see it because sand is a gravity block and so it will sink. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and start filling in here. Uh, I'm going to use the fill command. Uh, now the fill command can uh, operate on 32,768 blocks at a time. That is 2 to the 15th power. Um, that does restrict uh, the amount of area that we can fill at a time. So I'm going to be doing this eight layers at a time. Uh, and uh, I'm going to use relative coordinates uh, according to my current position. And I need to fill from the bottom up. Sand is a gravity block. If I try to fill from the top down, sand is going to fall. I'm not going to actually get the desired effect. So I'm going to fill uh, relative positions. Uh, let's say uh, start with uh, 31. Uh, for the uh, uh, for the bottommost layer, and going to 30, uh, 31 blocks in the other direction, and I'm going to be filling eight layers at a time. So that's layer the first um, uh, eight or uh, layers 31 to 38, and I'm going to be filling this just with sand, uh, but. I don't want to replace. I don't want to replace everything with sand because I don't want to erase the ocean monument. So I'm only going to be filling the water. So fill it with sand with um, a data of zero, and then I say replace water. Okay. And those are my first eight layers of sand. 
and I'm going to use the, uh, the same command, just replacing the numbers here. Instead of going layers 31 to 38, I'm going to go layers 39 to 46 now. And that will do another eight layers. Okay. And now I'm going to go layers 47 to 54. And now layers 55 to 62. And that basically has that giant block of sand that's now covering the ocean monument, uh, completely, uh, uh, completely filling the uh, filling the monument. Comes just above the edge of the water. Um, we can see some places where the sand has actually fallen down. Uh, that means that either the ocean opens up into a cave system, uh, or it's actually deeper than uh, <laughs> deeper than layer uh, 31. The ocean went down deeper than layer 31. I'm, I'm guessing that it's deeper than layer 31. Um, you can see all the stuff that appears up here. That's because uh, the sand has basically suffocated all the guardians and squid that were in the area. Um, and uh, that means that there is going to be some, uh, 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 all of their drops sort of pop up here to the top. So. Uh, now I need to uh, find, <laughs> find my original position there. Uh, I uh, buried the ring, and so I lost my position. Let me find it. It's got to be under here somewhere. Just a couple of blocks down it should be. There we go. Oops, just broke a block of it. Let me go ahead and put that back. Okay, there we go. So here is my southeast corner right here. Okay, going back up here. Now I'm going to execute the uh, the same commands more or less, um, but I'm going to uh, fill the. I'm going to re be replacing the sand uh, with air. Um, first, though, I want to make sure that I have. Uh, I don't have water flowing in here, so I'm I'm going to uh, add just. A, I'm going to add sand again just to make sure that uh, all that water has been removed. And to do that. Oops, let me make sure I'm in the correct spot here. I'm going to add a whole bunch of sand to the top. So I filled up to layer 62. Uh, now I'm going to fill layers 63 to layer 70 with sand. And that will put sand on the top of this, and sand uh, and holes should all get buried. Oops, I'm replacing water. <laughs> There's no water there, so let me replace air. There we go. And now some sand should fall down there, filling the holes that were left. Uh, all that over there. And now that excess sand that's over the surface of the water, uh, I'm going to replace the same area with air and instead replacing sand. And that should level off the sand there. There we go. So now I've got a nice even block of sand bearing the ocean monument, and I can go ahead and start removing that. Uh, so uh, I'm going to go back. Uh, now uh, to remove the sand, I'm going to remove it from the top down. I placed it from the bottom up, and now I'm going to remove it from the top down. Uh, so I'm going to start with um, my layers 55 to 62 here. This is exactly the command that I executed to fill layers 55 to 62 with sand. And I want to, I, what, I would, what I want to do is I want to replace the sand there with air. But first I'm going to pull in the coordinates a little bit. So instead of going 32 blocks to the, um, uh, to the west and 32 blocks to the north, uh, I'm going to go 31 in each direction, and um, instead of going 30 blo 31 blocks to the east, I'm going to go 30 blocks to the east and uh, 30 blocks to the south. That pulls in the area that I'm filling by one block in each uh, in each direction, so that I'm going to be leaving one layer of sand uh, on the edges as a wall. Uh, and I'm going to replace that with air, and what I'm doing is I'm replacing the sand. Okay, it starts to uh, reveal the ocean monument again, and I'm going to go down another seven layers. So from layer 47 to layer 54. 
and from layer 39 to layer 46 and um, I, I don't actually need to go down any further the ocean monument uh, is um, is now completely exposed but if I want to go all the way down to the ocean floor um, so I, this is the the bottom actually the floor of the ocean monument if I want to go all the way down to the ocean floor uh, making sure that I, I get rid of all the sand that I had dumped in earlier I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the original layer that I added, layer 31 to layer 38. I'll get rid of that, replacing all of uh, replacing all of the sand there with air. Okay. And you can see there's still a little bit of sand left. That's because the ocean floor uh, did go, or the depth of the ocean actually did go a little bit lower here. Uh, we've got all kinds of mobs already spawning here um, because it's dark underneath. I just can't tell with my night vision on. Uh, and I could remove that extra sand um, by going down another few layers. Let me just go ahead and do that. So I did um, layer 31 to 38, and I'm going to go uh, from layer 23 to layer 30. That's a little bit of overkill, but it should be fine. That gets all get rid of all of the rest of the sand there. Uh, so now my ocean monument is uh, completely exposed, and I've got a wall of sand all the way around. I don't necessarily want to leave that sand in place, um, so I'm going to replace it with something that's a little bit more durable, uh, let's say uh, glass. Uh, let me go up here so we can see what's going on here. Uh, and uh, I'm, let me start with the, that lowest layer that I um, replaced there, layer 23 to layer 30. Uh, and I'm going to replace instead everything uh, that is remaining as sand, which is only the wall around. I'm going to replace that with glass. And uh, there were no blocks filled because um, basically none of my sand goes down that deep. So let me try layer 30. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> there are no blocks filled because um, I didn't uh, expand the, my wall. I need to expand my wall or expand the area that I'm filling to include the wall again. There's probably a few blocks that will get replaced. Okay, so I'm going 32 blocks to the north and to the west and 31 blocks to the south and east again uh, to include the wall. Uh, that includes the sand of the wall now. Yeah, okay, there are a few blocks that were filled. Okay, going back up uh, from layer 23 to 30, I'm now going to do layer 31 to layer 38. And layer 39 to layer 46. And layer 47 to layer 54. and layer 55 to layer 62. Okay, so the entire wall has been replaced now with glass. Uh, I've got my ocean monument here. Uh, the um, all, Everything that was inside uh, had been killed. And, uh, I'm gonna get rid of these mobs here just because they're annoying. Um, so everything inside has been killed, which means there are no elder guardians in here. Um, if, uh, if we wanted to, uh, uh, to put the Elder Guardians back, uh, let me uh, go into spectator mode so I can phase through the, phase through the top here. Okay, so now I'm in the penthouse. And if we wanted to get the Elder Guardians back, uh, first I guess I would have to uh, put myself out of peaceful mode. Go back to normal difficulty, and now I'm going to uh, summon an Elder Guardian in here. And uh, the way in which you summon an Elder Guardian uh, is by summoning a uh, normal Guardian. And I'm going to do it at the coordinates here. Uh, that's uh, one, ab uh, one block above the block that I'm pointing at. Uh, and uh, this may or may not cause the Elder Guardian to take some suffocation damage because the Elder Guardians are really big. It may be phased into some of the surrounding uh, uh, surrounding blocks. Uh, we'll find out. Uh, and um, 
You have to use the um, is elder. I think it's is elder. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Uh, is elder one? And no, that didn't work. Um, maybe it's just elder. Yeah, there we go, elder. And it did uh, it did uh, get summoned in, phased into the block. That's why you saw it take a little bit of damage. Uh, but if you actually want to uh, get the elder guardians back in here, uh, because there's no spawn egg for them, you have to use the summon command with um, uh, with the elder uh, data tag there. Uh, and and I think that's it. Um, let me uh, let me get out of here. All right, so. Now we've got uh, our exposed ocean monument. Um, it's uh, pretty fast to do this in creative mode. You don't actually have to place any blocks down. Everything can be done with commands. So um, that's it then for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments.